Hello, I'm Yvonne Haggard. I, I um, moved to Rowlands Castle about 13 years ago and I love this village. It's got everything. Matt Hancock, I've lived in the village for just over 30 years now. My name's um, Kate Smith. Um, I've lived in and out the village uh, for the whole of my life. I was born here, um, went to university and left, and then I have made the decision to come back because I love it so much. My name's Lorna Hancock, and I grew up in the village, as did generations and generations of my family. So Rowlands Castle, I would describe it as a very close-knit community. Just everyone knows everyone, which can be annoying when you're a teenager. <laughs> but um, as you grow up, you actually realise the value of that. My children, if they go other places, they say, oh, don't you know them? Don't you know them? <laughs> we couldn't have lived anywhere better during Covid. It, everyone came together. Every road had WhatsApp groups. We had, on our road, we had a Zoom quiz for everyone in our road every I think it was every couple of weeks. So even during COVID, most people didn't leave the village. They didn't need to. And those, those businesses adapted to be able to support their community. My name's Alan Ayres. I'm the chairman of the Rowlands Castle Heritage Centre. This model railway is depicting uh, Rowlands Castle. It was in May, June, 1944, in the build-up to D-Day. We have it on display when we have village fates. In the last few times we've had it up here in the church. It takes up a lot of room and you need space around it for people to actually have a good look at it. So it's a piece of social history as well as military history and it fascinates everybody who comes here, young and old, especially the youngsters. 